squat sitting, we already did that, didn't we? We stood up like a 75 year old. We said, well, that's completely different. Can you squat hmm, in a kneeling position? Everybody get down on your two knees. You can burn your toes if it's more comfortable. If you don't have really good plantar flexion, that might be better. If you've got good plantar flexion, put your toes down, sit down. Put your butt on your heels, and when I say go, get your head to the ceiling. Ready? Go. Sit back down. Go. Where are you feeling a ton of work right now? Sit down. Your quads are kind of on fire. They should, they, they've got to be. I've taken the lower extremity out, and it's the quads that are actually decelerating my pelvis, and then boom, popping me back. Knee, a kneeling squat. Get off the floor. Fantastic. Yes. When else might you need a squat? When your job depends on it. You ever seen what a kindergarten teacher does most of the day? This. Who else might need to be a kneeling squat? Students. Workmen. All the time. That was my dad. Like, oh. Bricklayer. You know what I mean? You don't do this, laying bricks. You get down there. And then he goes, oh. You can squat 600 pounds. He's a bricklayer. Touch the floor, but try to sit on your heels. It looks like this. Sit on your heels, don't let your knees touch the floor. Come back. Sit on your heels, come back. Give me like six of those. Right leg forward, left leg back. And we're going to sit down Sideline onto squat. those heels about the knee touching the Just ground. Before it was a prone like squat. Sideline squat. Tell me where you're feeling it. Really sit back and down. Don't let anything touch the ground. Flex. So now I've got a trunk and leg driver. Then I added what? Arms. Now I've got a leg, trunk, and arm driver. Completely changed the lunge. When we did our abs, I had a pelvic driver. Then I had a sight driver. Then I had a arm driver. And when I put them together, it was like Poof. Range of motion, middle range of motion, full range of motion. In rugby, when I hand off, I don't do that. Just <laughs> bam! It's a mid range of motion thing. Lucky I didn't screw that up. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> when you box, you don't sit right there for a sec. <laughs> Boom! Keep my distance the same, watch. Go into the black line every time. Go into the black line every time. Go into the black line every time. But what am I changing? Not my, not my distance, my height. If you add height, direction, and distance, and you drew it as a shape around you, what would it look like? A bubble. A bubble. This is what we call our spirit function. Two truths. All of us have a bubble. Truth number two, no two bubbles are the same. If you tell my mum to do this, or even me for that matter, and today I'm dehydrated, didn't sleep well, had a couple of tequilas yesterday, I may not have the range of motion and pop, Pull on my hip. Who says you've got to squat to parallel? Why? Right. Are you a professional marshmallow roaster? Why have you got some? <laughs> I don't pick up my kids like that. Just stay still, stay still, stay. <laughs> Alright, let's go. It's usually like, come in, you fucker. You know what I mean? Pick him up. So the point is, we all have a bubble, height, distance, direction. We all need to go into different places in the bubble. How many different places in that bubble? Visualize it around you. How many places in that bubble could you go to with movement? Infinite. Infinite. How many do you think we actually train in? Limited. 